One person is dead after what the TWRA is describing as a boating incident below Fort Loudon Dam. Six on your side reporter Jordan Brown joining us live. And Jordan, what did authorities say happened? Well, Elizabeth, it was right here at the Fort Loudon Dam where one person tragically lost their life this morning in a boating incident that happened just after 10 o'clock. We now know that that person is 50-year-old David Morris of Clinton. He and another person were fishing, and after their engine failed to start, their boat was pulled into the spillway of the dam. Both men jumping from the boat, Loudoun County rescue teams later recovered David Morris's body further downstream. Now TVA is warning boaters to use extra caution while they're out on the waters this weekend. Unfortunately, we see this numerous times throughout the boating season. During a holiday weekend is when the TWRA says they see the most boating traffic as well as accidents. But boating near a spilling dam can be much more dangerous, even fatal. Whenever a dam is spilling, a large quantity of water is coming over the dam and intersecting with the tailwater, which is the area directly underneath the dam, and that creates various suctions and various vortices that can sometimes make it extraordinarily difficult for boaters to control their craft. TVA spokesperson Jim Hobson says the dams are so dangerous because of the amount of water that spilled per second and how fast the waters can change at any point in time. Any time that you're operating near one of TVA's dams, or really any dam, either upstream or downstream from the dam, as you approach the structure, you need to be aware that water can be moving very, very rapidly. If you get yourself tangled up with a quarter of a million gallons of water per second coming at you, it will strip you naked, including all of your flotation gear. It will just strip it right off your body. And with water levels higher than usual this year, it's important to be alert and aware as water levels are unpredictable and can change depending on the weather. It just takes being aware of what the dangers are, whether you're boating or swimming, and then making sure you're taking the necessary actions to prevent those risks so that you or your family are not faced with the kind of tragedies that unfortunately happen when we see people on the water. And the TVA also wants to remind boaters to watch your surroundings closely, especially on a weekend like this where a lot of boaters will be out, keep speeds low, and do not mix operating a boat with alcohol. And also, if you're fishing near a dam, know that the TVA is spilling hundreds of thousands of gallons of water right now, so water will be moving rapidly. In Loudoun County, Jordan Brown, WATE 6 on your side. Good advice, Jordan. Thank you. And by the way, the man who survived the deadly boating incident this morning has since been released from the hospital. The incident still under investigation by the TWRA.